welcome back now in this video we will simply create a text form field for the email address password so let's go and do that it will be simply right below this logo right in here right in the center of the screen so first we will create some height between the logo and that text form field so for that purpose we will simply in here have a size box we will give the height to 15 add the const modifier to size box all fine now right down in here we will say form and write in the form foot comma push and in there it's going to take some properties the first one will be key and now we will go and create a login form key as a global so at the top we will go and below this animator control in here we will say final login form key in which we will assign the global key and there will be a form state so that global key it will simply create a label global key which will be labeled and used for debugging and form state this object can be used to save reset and validate every form field that we are about to create so there's the purpose that we created so now we will go down and write in the key right in here we will use the login form key that we just created there we go right after child we will call on widget and write in the column widget we will be children and write in the children we will have a text form field and here put comma and then write in the text form field what we will do we will simply say text input action it's going to take some property the first one is text input action in which we will say text input action dot next this will simply create a form field that contain a text field and right after we will say on editing complete whenever it's complete then we will simply change the focus to focus call and we will remove that we will say dot off will be that context it will describe the part of the user interface gonna be represented by that and then we will request the focus but first we will go right at top and we will create it so right in here we will say focus not and that's give it name as pause focus non in which we will have focus non so on that focus non is basically it's in our object that can be used by the start for widget to obtain the keyboard focus and to simply handle the keyboard events so that's why we created is gonna changing the focus so now let's go and we will simply write in here say request dot request focus that one and write in there we will say that pause focus knob that we just created a while ago so it's gonna simply change the focus to that and that's fine right in here so right after 
let's move further now we will say keyboard type and it's gonna be text input type you will go with the email address so the first one we will create the email one okay so in here we will say email address and then we will say controller now we will simply go and create the email controller because we didn't create it yet so let's go right at top and right down below in here we will say tax as in controller and this as email tax controller and there tax editing control in there there will be the tax empty string and write it and send code so now in here we will say final so the line will be gone and also in here add the final there we go as you guys can see now so we created the controller now we will go down and right in this controller we will say email text control there we go and right after the validator in which the user will enter some kind of email so it's gonna then will be assigned to this value okay and then you will check that email address you will set the if condition so the email address will be right inside the value as I told you before so in here we will say value we'll check if it's empty if it's empty and or operator and the value the not sign not value so not value so it simply means if the value not content add great right in the string there we go if the value will not contain the add direct so in that case what we will say we will simply return a text in which we will simply say please enter a um, wallet email address this one right in here at the end semicolon in here set the spelling address so that's fine so let me tell you one more time whenever the user will enter the email it will be right inside this value so if it's empty or also if that value didn't contain the at the rate and in that case we will simply show this text that please enter a valid email address only in that case and right after what we will say else is fine and in else we will simply return nothing it will be no so now press the control s and see the output right in here as you guys can see there is a text field with the black line if you click in here there we go it's blue now and here you guys can enter the email the color is black so we didn't see it clearly I hope you guys can see right in here now simply we will go and do some styling for that to make it more beautiful and also the text will be visible then so let's go and do that first then we will come here and test it so in here we comma first and then we will say style text style and as usual we will set the color we will go with the colors dot white and 
also let's send the decoration input decoration in which we will also give the hint text hint text we will say email so the user then will know that it's the email text form field and right after we will give the hint style so text style in here in which we will set the color with a white one so it's going to look more visible then and now if i press the control s you guys will notice that there we go as you guys can see the output okay let's go further now we will enable the border and do line input border there we go and put comma first right in here and then right inside we will say border side border side we will give the color colors dot we will go with the white one right after the border side we will also set the focus border under line input border and right inside that let's set the border side to border side in there set the color color will be white so now if you press the control s you guys will notice that color will be changed right in here okay so press the control s and let's see there we go it's now white okay so it's look more fine and visible and right after what we will do we will also have a error border if there will be any error so we will send that in the line in the border in which we will set the border side to border side color will be red in case of error so colors we will go with the right one as I tell you so that's fine right in here now we will simply add the points modifier just to remove these yellow lines and the code will be clean then as you guys can see now so let's check the output now in here you guys can simply enter your ML okay, as you guys can see right in here and it's working totally fine and everything just set and now it's visible so right after this we will create a password text form field right in the next video so basically that's it for this video and we will work further right from here in the next video